Elias, still pretty after that fight? Yeah, that's half the battle. Um, a tough opponent, uh, Sam Alvey, like I said, he was uh, trying to knock my block off, but um, again, uh, it's chestnut checkers and uh, checkmate. Were you surprised how little his output was in that fight though? No, um, I, I, that was the game plan. I, I knew if I frustrated him. Uh, I wasn't saying it in the cliche way, um, I'm going to wipe his smile off, but I knew if I just irritated him with volume, he would uh, resort to something else. And he tried to take me down. Were you satisfied with your performance in the cage? Because, you know, at the end of the day, you got the win. Uh, you know, people might have not thought it was the best performance in the world, but you, you look good. You got the win. It takes two to tango. I was the only one tangoing. Um, again, it, it's all about chemistry, and I guess he's not into me. Um, uh, when uh, Again, uh, he's a dangerous proponent. Uh, it's for me, um, going undefeated for so long, it becomes a burden in some way, shape, or form. And um, although the silver lining for my last fight is I believe that I lost the fight and my opponent didn't win it, it still took away a lot of confidence. And with that being said, I, had, I got options when, uh, for my next fight, and I took the toughest one because I needed to jump right back in there against a tough person. Sam Alvey has 17 knockouts, and he has a wealth of uh, more experience than me um, uh, and again I outstruck him probably seven to one um, like I said takes two to dang tango and uh, a fancy dancer so who else, who else did they offer you for the spot Pardon? who else did they offer you for the spot um, I can't even remember in details but like again there there are a bunch of different names uh, some of them are fr I'm friends so I was like oh well I will fight this person instead but no Sam Alvey again um, depending on which matrix like fight matrix or whatever like that wherever you look because we're not both in the top 15 in any way shape or form we're neck and neck and uh, considering he has only maybe a couple more he has he has 10 years whereas yesterday was my fifth professional year as a uh, mixed martial artist um, to the day yesterday um, I, I took a chance with my younger brother we went to hard knocks was the regional uh, uh, what's called show and uh, me and my brother had the balls to go take take on the the local guy and uh, beat him um, even though there was a couple of switcheroos in regards to that it was the same idea um, I didn't I didn't take an easy fight because I want to be the best in the world and uh, like I said um, the last fight was my first, uh, my, not my last fight, uh, obviously Tiago, was my first bad day at work. And um, it's one of those things where when uh, everyone else has a bad day at work, they, I don't know, take it out on the fridge or something like that. Uh, you can get your ass kicked on national TV. Um, for me, the lucky, the lucky thing is uh, I got a little symmet more symmetrical, because if you can see, I got a scar here and a scar here now. So, um, no, uh, again, um, my dad likes to say in my last fight, um, with Tiago showed that I have balls and uh, I showed everyone that there's no quit in me and more importantly to myself So obviously getting over the um, the oh, woe was me in Vegas because no one wants to have a bad day in Vegas like that um, uh, With that being said, I, uh, I picked myself up had a great time the rest of the time there and I went back to the drawing board um, I did my camp at uh, with Froz and um, Crew Ash at, out of Titans and uh, in retrospect um, and um, TriStore as well but I also have my home gyms as well. Um, I, I want to learn from everyone. But uh, the, 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 the new home of Titans, um, TriStar, and uh, Grant's now rival boxing MMA. Um, and then Bank Fitness, my yeah. lifting gym. Yeah. Um, what do you call it? Those are my homes. And uh, I'm still going to be traveling the world and uh, taking it all in. Because for me, this is all about the fighter's journey. And uh, my parents are just retiring, so I'm actually not going to bother them too much. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to jump with them to Europe, and I'm going to go to... Uh, I'm going to go to uh, Amsterdam and uh, do some training down in Amsterdam. And I'm going to do uh, some judo in France. Like, uh, for me, it's all about the fighter's journey, and I'm so excited to have summer off. <laughs> oh, congratulations. Oh, sorry, how, how, uh, how much of a factor do you think it played in this fight, you being at TriStar for a full camp this time and really having, you know, the, the really uh, good game plan going into this one? Yeah, no, that was exactly it. Um, the last fight, I had a great camp um, at uh, Longo's and Matt Serra's, um, but it was only four weeks. Um, this one, I was there since... Um, since uh, I want to say late January, early February. I've been at TriStar and Titans, and um, I, again, I I, uh, I have great training partners at home in Toronto, um, at Grants. But I needed again to be somewhere 110% in something, and uh, I was there for the better part of three months, um, and just focusing on this. Um, for many ways, I've kind of been part time as a fighter, not in the sense that again I have to uh, the idea that um, uh, what's it called. Uh, you know, working a second job or whatever. Like, no. Um, in many ways, this is one of the fruits of my labor. I mean, this is one of like my passions. Uh, but now I'm I'm focusing 110 percent um, with with uh, the UFC. Not that I wasn't focusing. You guys know what I yeah, mean. Yeah, like, I'm yeah. not doing camps. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm training full time because uh, as great as Toronto is, um, the one thing that I saved most often set aside the um, the it was called the great training partners the. The, 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 the wizards that are my new coaches and with additional the other ones, it's just the travel time. Um, in order to get adequate training in Toronto, I, uh, like, to put in perspective, being um, in TriStar 
right next to it, I save 17 hours in my week. Not even regards to training, that's just 17 hours to read a book, rest, or do anything in between. You play said, the new Pokemon. Have you guys seen that new Pokemon Go? Yeah. It is the coolest thing ever. Um, so I'm a huge Pokemon <laughs> fan, but uh, whatever. No, no, How about a conversation? Right we want to hear about it. So, so, so basically, it's a phone. It's an app, and you everyone has it. And you'll be like, and then they it's it's, GP, it's uh, GPS and stuff like that. So there'll be like a Pikachu over there, and you run over there, and like you like battle it. And then there'll be someone over there that is a Pokemon master, and you go ch challenge them. So uh, I'm pretty psyched for that. You, you need to get on that with Ronda Rousey because she's a Fun? big. You need to get on that with Ronda Rousey because yes, she's a big. Yes, Pokemon. Pikachu. So how close are you to catching them all? But. <laughs> all right. You said uh, you said you want summer off. Does that not mean you want to spawn the Vancouver card? Um, uh, what's called? I got a couple of other side projects that are coming in the way. It's like uh, I'm I'm actually joining uh, the new champion Michael Bisbing on the set of uh, Triple X. Nice. And uh, what's called? I have uh, two of my own TV shows that are kind of in the works. So uh, what's it called? Um, it's just again, I'm always I'm always going to be training, always going to be doing that. But I got to see what the uh, other opportunities that are that are coming up. So do you think we see you back in here again this year? Oh, or? hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, again, um, this this fight was a confidence fight. Not in the sense that it was an easy opponent. I, I, I took the battle head on. And uh, what's it called? A lot of it is I'm playing catch up. I started this after my tw my first year of university at the age of 21. I'm only 28. I'm playing catch up. Sam Alvey's been wrestling since he was a wee little lad. Diego uh, Santos, he was a three-time Muay Thai champion at the age of 12. He's 32. So um, I'm playing catch up. Uh, there's no real rush in regards to the fact that in uh, in the UFC, uh, the medium in, uh, medium age, uh, what's called the middleweight, is 32. I'm 28. So I got another four years to get to that crust. How are you gonna celebrate after the fight tonight? I hit the dance floor. My after party is at Eve Night Club. But uh, it was called, I got about 200, 300 friends and family that are here. Um, one of the big things for me was after my last fight, um, all my, honestly, all my friends, family were all there for me. And most importantly, my sponsors, man, they doubled down on me. Um, they allowed me to, instead of chasing, looking for every single uh, dollar here and there, they doubled down on me and, uh, financially and on, honestly just uh, what's called like as friends. And uh, what's called allowed me to just focus on being me. So Sam Alvey asked for this fight. He particularly wanted to call you out. Mm -hmm. Who do you want? Um, you know what? It would be an honor to change. Like I never, I didn't. There's a couple guys obviously on my radar, and but my head's a little scrambled to say one specific one, um, because I was not looking past Sam Alvey in any way, shape, or form. I, I think um, I'm, I'm closer and closer to that uh, top 15 in the sense that Tiago Santos is. Um, the only person that has besmirched my, uh, what do you call it? Pristine record. <laughs> yes, my pristine record. Um, but with that being said, he's on a kill, a, a tear. He's uh, four or five a, in, a, in, a, in a row, and I'm the only one to take him to distance. And in many ways, there's a couple that when I, sh I should have zigged, when I should have zagged, and um, I could have won that fight. I, I, in the first round, I outstruck the three-time Brazilian uh, champion. And uh, the thing is, I think at, at, after the first round, I, I think I didn't believe that I was doing it. I almost like, oh my God, this is almost too easy. Um, so then I, I resorted to like, like, like my monkey brain <laughs> and the idea like grab hold. And um, I love the coach, uh, Chad Pearson, uh, spent uh, uh, what's called months in just uh, improving some of those, some of those just mis uh, honestly learning curves. It's, it's just the case that uh, I've, I've, I don't have a wrestling background and um, uh, I'm honored to have uh, people like uh, Chad Pearson in my corner who, who devote their time, energy and love in uh, making me be the best I can be. So did losing that fight kind of change the way you look at the strategy of it? or No, um, it? honestly, uh, in many ways, um, I think it's so cliche in the sense that, <laughs> the, that I needed the fight to kind of know what was going wrong. I, I think um, in many ways, uh, what do you call it, I thought I won the first and second round, and at one point he hit me in the, in the gut, and I had a little bit of the gas tank uh, kind of gone, and I was like, oh, and I was trying not to lose, I think, instead of trying to win. And uh, I think that's what... Um, that's what uh, I think uh, the biggest takeaway of that, and also just little increments. Uh, the idea where I didn't, I didn't quite like you know I was trying to force something. I I, I was out striking him in the first, and then in the second round I went for his leg, the domain that he probably thought that he was probably working on. He probably wasn't thinking I would have the balls to stand up with him. And then uh, what's it called in the second round? That's what he's been doing all this time. That's what he's been. It's like when Elias takes you to the cage, he's gonna try and take you down. And um, again, when uh, my coaches like to tell me, uh, in some ways I'm very selfish uh, in the sense that they're like. Uh, mine me 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 so when i when i was grabbing his leg I, I i whenever i up until then whenever i put someone against the cage i either uh grinded them outpaced them or outstruck them or took them down um he is a very great athlete and he said no but i was like but this always works and i doubled down on the wrong thing so now you're everywhere you've been on the amazing race in canada you're, you've been on big brother you just said you're working on tv shows 
what, where can we expect to see you next? Uh, no, what's it called? Nothing said. Uh, there's a couple of things that are kind of in the works. But um, again, uh, where you can see me now is uh, uh, Eve Nightclub, where I'm going to dance with my friends and family. Uh, what's it called? I, I just uh, I just a little preview. Huh? Give us a little yeah. preview. Oh, I did give you a preview. You see those hips? They don't lie. <laughs> I can kick that high. <laughs> we figured we'd get the running man challenge. No, I was going to that. Well, let me ice my feet first. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Right. Thanks very much.